An internal combustion engine, like is on your lawnmower, needs three things to run. It needs an adequate fuel supply, it needs adequate spark, and it needs adequate compression. For you technical guys out there, I do have a link on my description of this video to take you back to, uh, so you can see the a compression tester if you wanna do that. We're not gonna get that technical right now. This is what most small engine mechanics that I know do this. It's so fast and so easy. You can check to see if you have good compression. You can see if you have mediocre compression. You can see if you have no compression by doing this. This is gonna take you guys one or two sips of beer. It's that quick. Hey, you know what, you guys? If, if it takes you more than two sips of beer to do this job, hey, we at Steve Small Ended Saloon here, we don't judge. It's okay. I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Guys and girls, thanks for tuning in to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. There's my website as usual, .com. Check it out when you get a chance. There are three really quick things we have to do here before we check the compression like I'm about to show you. Um, here's the first one. You know that little bale handle that when you start your lawnmower, you gotta pull that bale handle down? <clears throat> that thing right there, right? We gotta tie that down. I use a little clamp thing like this. You can just tie it down with a rope or whatever you want. Just make sure you pin that down. Now what that did, what did that just do? That, there's a break on your flywheel. What that did is it just released the break on that flywheel so the engine can actually spin around. What it also did is it turned your on off switch to the on position so now your lawnmower can actually start. I don't know about you, but I wanna keep all 10 of my fingers. So you have to do this. I can't say this enough times, you guys. The spark plug boot, pull that spark plug boot off like that, off of your spark plug. So there's no chance that this thing can start when we're doing this. Put it aside, make sure your spark plug is in there and it's tight. Now we have to flip this thing over. If you flip your lawnmower over, I gotta recap this to you guys too. Here's your air filter, identify where your air filter is. If you flip your lawnmower over that way, so your air filter and your carburetor is on the downside, engine oil is gonna pour out of there, it's gonna destroy your air filter, and you're gonna have a big puddle of, of engine oil on the floor when you're done. So flip your lawnmower over so the air filter is always on the upside. That's how you want to flip it. Now, uh, leather glove before we even flip this thing over, just in case you happen to sharpen your blade. It's a really sharp blade. Leather glove is going to be your best friend. Safety first, guys. Now, we're going to flip this lawnmower over on the proper side and look at that blade. Check that out. This is my daily runner. It runs, it starts first pull every time. It runs absolutely awesome, so I know it has good compression. I'm gonna show you why it has good compression. You spin that blade around, and it, always in the direction that it's supposed to go, so you see the sharp side? Sharp side of the blade right there goes forward, so that's the way you wanna spin this thing. Spin it with your hand. See that right there? It bounces that blade backwards. That is really good compression. You guys are gonna find sometimes that you don't actually have that blade bouncing backwards like that. You might find that it actually comes to kind of a, a squishy stop where you spin it and it doesn't bounce backwards like that where it just goes kind of like this and it just goes and it stops. It doesn't keep going around and around, but it stops. If it does that, stops, but it doesn't bounce backwards like that, that is actually, you got some compression there, but it's not really good compression. It may or may not be enough compression for your engine to run, 
But yeah, I at least know it's kind of what I said at the beginning of the video. It's a kind of mediocre compression. There is some there. Could be something wrong with your engine there too if it just comes to that kind of a dead stop but doesn't bounce backwards. Now, here is the worst case scenario. Let's get rid of this thing. Here's the next one. Check this out. The spark plug boot is off. The spark plug is in and tight. I'm flipping it over on the proper side again. Air filter is up. Now watch this. Can you, can you see that? It goes around and around and around and around and never stops, never stops. That is zero compression, guys. Zero. There's no compression on that thing at all. That's your worst case scenario right there. There is no possible way that that engine can possibly run with a lack of compression like that. The next video that I do is going to actually be on this lawnmower and we're gonna tear this thing down. We're gonna see why this one doesn't have any compression at all. So stay tuned for that video. Till then guys, give me that thumbs up button. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Maybe I did save you some money, uh, taught you something new, that'd be awesome. Until then, put some comments down underneath this video. Tell me what you think about it. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and share this video with your friends. Until then guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Steve out.